In this video, we will learn about the spike art and socket joint, which is shown in the diagram. The diagram is attached in the description for your reference. Select the front plane and give sketch. View normal to the sketch plane. So in this plane, we are going to draw the cross section of the socket first and then spy guard. In the same master sketch, we are going to make it. Then we will revolve that. Then we will create the cross section for the carter and we will try to extrude it. Let's create the cross section for the socket. So here I'm, I'm just representing the axis for evolution. So I'm drawing a line and changing it as construction line. Now let's provide the dimensions for this. So here from this one to the axis, sorry. Here I am going to change it as construction line again. Now let's define the dimensions. So this dimension is 25 diameter. The next diameter is 46. The next diameter is 64. And the length here it is 30 from here to this distance it's 105 this shaft is just greater than that because the shaft is of uh, infinite distance we will consider so 105 plus some value I'm going to provide. I'm just going to give it as 125. Now the hollow profile we are going to draw. So for that the whole portion which is required to insert the socket here. So let's try to draw some dimension. And at the for the end relief, we have the extra diameter. So that di extra diameter is placed over here. The dimension for the socket. The socket diameter is given as 32 mm. And for the end relief, it is provided as 35 mm. And the relief distance is provided as 28. And this distance after the relief, it is provided as 60. 32, the slot distance plus the end distance for the other side, which is 60. So now we had drawn the cross section which is required. Now let us try to draw the socket. But before that let's try to complete the profile here so that it will come as an area. So the cross section profile now if you revolve it you will get the socket sorry uh, yes socket 
now we are going to make the cross section for the spy cut so the spy cut length distance is provided as the same distance after here we are having the distance of 94 minus some value so let's try to dimension that so here i'm going to dimension this distance as 94 minus of 32 plus 28 32 plus 28 is 64 yes one more i have missed it as well as 12 so now we got the definite distance now we will extend the head of the socket here along with the shaft so the shaft dimension is equivalent to this So now let's define the distance. So here it is 12. Here the distance may be considered as 30. It's just a distance. This diameter, it is given as 46. So we had drawn all the cross sections which is required. Now let us try to revolve so that we can able to get the spy guard as well as socket so let's confirm it so this cross section will provide you the spy guard the 3d model of the sorry 3d model of the socket this two cross section will provide you the 3d model of the spy guard so let us try to revolve it revolve so here new i'm going to face select this as face and sketch regions to extrude A revolve axis is this so now we got the socket now let's confirm again we are going to do the revolve in this one i'm going to make it as new the same sketch i'm going to utilize the sketch one so let us try to activate the sketch one here select the sketch one portions so these two portions will provide you the revolve axis select it so now you got the spike cut also now if you switch on both parts you will get the spike cut as well as socket now i am going to create the collar sorry call it in that one first i am going to make a call it and by using the boolean can command i am going to do the subtract on the spy cut as well as socket so that we can able to make a slot in that so i am going to create the profile of the caller in this one top view so let me select the sketch plane on the top view so let's try to draw it over here the length of the groove is 32 mm so let's try to provide it as 32 and the width is 8 so let me provide the half distance here just to make the slot on the center and from this place
that is from, from this place to this one the slot distance is 28 that's what we have in the diagram so from this end the slot starting distance is 28 so the slot is having the curvy surface on both but in order to use that draft curvy surface is generally not preferred so let us try to extrude this one first and make a draft after making the draft we will go for the draft uh, we will go for the fillet so that we can make a curvy surface over here and here let's try to confirm this now let me switch off these two parts so that it will be easy for me to select the sketch now let's try to extrude this uh, just one more thing actually here in this sketch the center portion is going to be 30 not 32 that's a centered uh, cross section dimension so 30 here it is 8 the remaining things are correct so now let's try to do the extrude of this one we are going to extrude it as a new material here I am going to use a symmetry the total length of the collar is given as 100 so let's keep that and confirm it so here we have to place this surface you have to draft it this surface should be vertical so here the draft angle we need to calculate here the slope is given as 1 is to 30 for that if you find out the value of degree by using turn inverse of 1 by 30 you will get the degree as 1.9 so let's try to use the draft angle of 1.9 so the neutral plane I'm going to select it as this entities to draft is this face the draft is going on the opposite direction so let me try to do it by providing here 1.9 actually 1.907 is coming so I am making it as 1.91 so here the draft angle is proper now let's try to confirm the sketch so now we got the collar but only thing is the edges is not curvy so what we are going to do we are going to make a fillet so let's try to do the fillet in order to make a semicircular portion at both ends we are going to provide the radius at two ends equivalent to the half of the distance so that the gap is here it is 8 so I am going to radius give the radius as 4 on this edge this edge this edge and on this edge so that we will get a curvature semicircular surface on both ends now let's try to activate the two parts so you can see here we have activated that parts now only thing is we need to create a slot because the third one still the knot it is not created the slot it's only just extruded so I'm going to make a slot by using the collar as a tool on these two parts that is your socket and the spy guard you are going to make a slot here so let's try to do the boolean command so here I am going to do the subtract the tool I am going to use it is a collar and the target I am going to use it is a socket and spy guard so after doing the subtraction I am going to keep my collar that's why I am keeping this option enabled keep tools and give the tick mark 
Now, if you see, if you hide the part three, that is your color, you can see the slot over here. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.